Swallowed Star Virtual Universe, Heavenly Bridge In the center of the beautiful island, the watchman Bevan was going through his list. Suddenly he spotted three silhouettes appearing simultaneously on the island. Luo Fong, Rong Jun and Wuka. The three of you have all come together. Hmm the Nine Universe Bridge is empty, however, Rong Jun and Wuka, you are both from the huge axe sect. Only one can attempt at a time, you can pick who goes first. Watchman Bevan smiled as he looked at these three. Rong Jun and Wuka both shook their heads. Not us, we aren't attempting the bridge. It's Luo Fong, this madman, Wuka said. Right, it's Luo Fong. He's attempting the sixth level. Rong Jun smiled. Lord Bevan, there shouldn't be any problem with us watching the live broadcast, right? What do you say, Luo Fong? Watchman Bevan looked at Luo Fong. Sure. Luo Fong smiled and nodded. Rong Jun and Wuka were the two in the same batch of geniuses that he was closest to. Hence, allowing them to watch the broadcast was nothing. Rong Jun and Wuka, you two watch. Luo Fong smiled and became a blur, flying towards the Nine Universe Bridge. Nine Universe Bridge Level 6 Amidst the howling winds, Luo Fong stood on the bridge, squinting his eyes to see through the tornado ahead as best he could. Choose your opponent, fighter, controller, or hypnotist. Pick any one, defeat him and you can proceed to the seventh level. The tornado's voice resounded. Controller. Luo Fong said without hesitation. Of course. Luo Fong nodded. Shua. Countless gold threads interweave to form a perfect combination. An ancient-looking dark golden long blade floated before Luo Fong. Nanshan Armaments 5 Level, Space Slicer. Very good, you can unleash the 5th level too. However, similar 5th levels will have different amounts of power. The silver armored man laughed loudly. Immediately, the dark golden long rod behind him too shot out large amounts of gold light, swiftly forming into one dark golden long blade beside him. The two of them faced off. Staring at each other. Absolute domain. Space slicer. Luo Feng's gaze was cold, simultaneously unleashing his strongest combo. Go. The silver armored man pointed at Luo Feng. Xiao. Xiao. Two dark golden beams of light tore through the space and pierced at each other. The silver armored man's dark golden light was shockingly fast. Even now, in terms of speed, Luo Feng's dark golden long blade was a little slower. Not just speed, its flight was extremely unpredictable as well. The silver armored man's version was the orthodox method. However, Luo Feng's way however was obviously special in a different way. One was speed and power. One was space pressure and power. Qi. Qi. Qi, when the two blades were shot out and clashed, the silver armored man's blade obviously fell in speed, almost as though it was affected by a formless pressure. Luo Feng's blade however seemed to be assisted by the universe space itself and pierced forward. Pine. The dark golden long blade became a beam of light and as they clashed, pierced right through the enemy's head. The sixth level. Success. Rigid, not flexible. Luo Feng smiled, these two years. I've been studying the time-space scribbles to comprehend the Nine Universe Tablet's drizzle picture. My comprehension can be considered at 80 points now. Your technique should be considered completely reaching 100 points on the drizzle picture, hence the difference in power. It's a pity though, you still lost to me. Since Primal Chaos City, I've understood the raindrop picture and the drizzle picture to an incomparable perfection. Only because I was studying the essence and with that knowledge as the roots, connected with the universe space, that's the true path. 
From using space, affecting space, this is the improvement from the essence. Luo Feng smiled, flying straight ahead to the seventh level. At the bridge, center of the island. Rong Jun and Wuka were both shocked by the scene that they just saw. He succeeded. Rong Jun's eyes were filled with shock. How, how can that be? Wuka couldn't believe it either. It's, it's only been two years. And it's two years outside, the training speed outside cannot compare to that in Primal Chaos City. In theory. Pity, only the illogical are truly geniuses. That's the true madman. Time space scribbles, tear sky and land and the three ancient pictures. Along with Luo Feng's later comprehension of the Nine Universe Tablet, they all resulted in his breakthrough in two short years. Attempting the Seventh Level Space Luo Feng flew to the Seventh Level. It was very mysterious, as before him no longer stood a tornado, but an endless space. The Seventh Level of the Heavenly Bridge was actually the scene of space. Controller Luo Feng shouted, filled with anticipation within. This seventh level opponent, just what attack would he unleash? Would it still be the same dark golden long blade? Or even higher? The meteorite before him suddenly broke off a small piece of rock. That piece rolled on the bridge and transformed into a blue armored mask wearing controller on a dark cloud shuttle and dark golden long rod on his back. Universe Level 9 Youth, to be able to reach this stage, congratulations. I hope you can pass this level. The blue armored man was obviously much older. Hmm, Luo Feng didn't hesitate, immediately forming the dark golden long blade that floated beside him. Not bad. The blue armored man walked down from the dark cloud shuttle onto the bridge. Simultaneously, the dark golden long rod on his back immediately shot out seemingly endless amount of gold light. The entire sky changed color, the surround bridge, space, everything vanished, all that could be seen was the countless blade energy circling around him. Luo Feng's expression changed, this is Blade World. Nanshan Armament 6th Level, Blade World the fifth level space slicer used 2,916 little golden blades. The sixth level blade world used 5,832 little golden blades. This was twice as much as the fifth. One had to know, there were only a total of 10,081 little golden blades in the dark golden long rod, the later increases weren't as huge as this one. Similarly, the Blade World's might was incredibly powerful. World, why world? The sixth level, after completely comprehending it, any domain lord that could use the sixth level could almost be invincible in his level in the universe. You better go train more. The blue armored man smiled. Schwa. The entire world pressured down, far exceeding the amount of space pressure Luo Feng could affect, in an instant crushing down and piercing Luo Feng's head. Luo Feng, failure. Total defeat, it was too strong. The moment that move was unleashed, it completely controlled that side of the world. Luo Feng sighed. When will I be able to unleash the sixth level? Luo Feng was very clear. That from the fifth to sixth level, that was the Nanshan armament's most extreme evolution of all nine levels. It didn't seem at all easier than the breaking through to the last level. Rong Jun wasn't the sort to spread news. However, Wuka was the type who couldn't hold it in, the news quickly spread. Primal Region Bolan was in a white robe, flying in the air of the Primal Region. Suddenly a sturdy silhouette shot over. Bolan Hmm. Bolin turned to look, it was Long Yun. Bolin looked silently at Long Yun waiting for him to speak. Do you know? Luo Feng had just passed the Heavenly Bridge's sixth level today. Long Yun said. The initially calm and collected Bolin suddenly had a change in his expression. 
His eyes focused and he said softly, I got it. After which he flew towards his living quarters. After a while, in the center of the heavenly bridge island, a white-robed Bolan suddenly appeared. Bolan. Watchman Bevan smiled and looked at him. You really came. I'm attempting the seventh level. Bolan's eyes gleamed with cold light. The breakthroughs are every three levels. From level one to three, four to six, seven to nine. This level seven, is much harder than level six. Watchman Bevan looked at Bolan. It's only been two years since you passed level six and you wish to attempt the seventh level. I want to try. Bolan emphasized. All right, go on, there's no one in the universe heavenly bridge. Watchman Bevan smiled. Schwa. The white-robed Bolan flew straight at the universe heavenly bridge. Universe Heavenly Bridge 7th Level The blue armored man carried a blood-colored blade. Wearing a mask, he coldly gazed at the white-clothed youth. Young man, the Universe Primal Chaos Tablet is the most profound and hardest to study of the 52 tablets. Studying both space and time and going through these tests, your achievements in space can even reach the 9th level. However, in time itself, you only have the skills of level 3 or 4. Let me advise you, go back and study more, raise your comprehension of time more before coming back. The white-clothed youth was expressionless, his gaze cold. Hua. He brandished the blood blade from behind. Hmm, the blue armored man shook his head. Wine. The region about became a blur, as space and time were simultaneously affected. The white-clothed youth continued to instantly produce over 10,000 images. However, his head was still pierced. Seventh Level, Failure In the center of the island, the only one watching this scene was Watchman Bevan. He shook his head inside, too proud, this Bolan is too proud. I estimate that he had been leading far ahead since he was young, stronger than everyone. Hence, he has an absolute heart of pride. With his comprehension of the space laws, back then during the genius battles, his space comprehension alone far exceeded many sector lords. Even comparable to a few undyings. Such high comprehension of space laws. With such talent, theoretically speaking, the best way is to focus on space itself and put all his attention and time and resources into the space origin laws. This way, he can get stronger than before. Amplifying his strengths. That way, he would still have a chance of becoming a space knight. A pity. He's too proud. Hence before the genius battles, he began to study the wind laws and use it as a stepping stone to studying time. He's too proud. Absolute confidence, he didn't even listen. Still choosing the hardest universe tablet. Watchman Bevan simply sighed. How many people have regretted their choice? Such terrifying level of talent. In terms of space talent, he was far more terrifying than Lien Luo. Pity. The more talented one was, the more proud he would be too. He's rushing, his pride, is making him rush. He's finally been caught up by someone of the same generation. Watchman Bevan watched the distant universe heavenly bridge from the distant space. Speaking softly, he's probably never ever tasted such a feeling before in his life. At the last period in Primal Chaos City when Luo Feng passed the fifth level, he rushed to attempt the sixth, luckily he succeeded. He managed to keep his pride. However now, in two short years, Luo Feng passed the sixth. And he rushed once again, without even any guarantee to attempt the seventh. Pity. He wasn't as lucky this time. He failed. The seventh level compared to the sixth, is simply too much harder. He was defeated in one move. Failure. He's finally been caught up. This, 
may be a good thing for him. Watchman Bevan said softly. It's up to him whether he falls into depression. Or reflects on himself because of Luo Fong. Yu Xiang Mountain was as peaceful as ever. Wuka, Rong Jun and Luo Fong didn't even know of Bolin's attempted failure of the seventh level. While Bolin had received a huge setback and was bearing with it, Luo Feng's mood was extremely good. After which, he laughed as he arrived at the Fantasy Ocean. Fantasy Ocean, Luo Feng stood by the ocean. Heart like a mirror, even if dust landed on the mirror, he would still see clearly. His boundaries and his perspective were all clear before him. As all was clear and untarnished. When it was time to laugh he would laugh, time to rage he would rage, time to kill, there wouldn't be any hesitation. Heart like a blade, this made Luo Feng's actions all deliberate and to the point, there weren't any hesitation or procrastination. I've been in the huge pit for two years, absorbing the invasion of the stronger and stronger killing aura. My willpower, in training under such conditions is getting more and more sturdy. My consciousness control is also getting stronger. I shall try, the tenth island of the fantasy ocean, let's see what happens. Luo Feng smiled, rushing into the sky and swiftly plunging deep into the ocean. Fantasy Ocean, it was currently where Luo Feng had acquired the most points. Before, he had consecutively passed nine levels, making him acquire a huge amount of points, 51, 100 points. Of which just the ninth level alone was 25,600 points, the tenth was 51,200. Fantasy Ocean, Heavenly Bridge, these were all hard to pass. Only thing was Luo Feng's consciousness was powerful, Golden Horned Beast's consciousness, his willpower was even more terrifying, personal training from his two brothers and natural talent, hence he could have such achievements in the Fantasy Ocean. Fantasy Ocean Island 10 So Luo Feng descended and landed on a peak of a 100m mountain on the island. It's come. Luo Feng focused and looked up at the sky. Rumble. The pressure of the mountain crashed down, clashing against that incredibly sturdy mental state, it held strong for a brief moment before finally crumbling and completely dispersing. The pressure of the tenth island is simply too strong. I've had quite an improvement over these two years. However, this little improvement, against the pressure of the tenth island, it still crumbles into nothing, I have to work harder. This tenth island has over 50k points, it wouldn't be so easy to acquire it. Luo Feng didn't seem affected by the failure at all. Because. He wasn't like Bolin, Bolin had always been number one. Luo Feng however had never been number one before. On earth, he wasn't number one amongst the students. After becoming a warrior, the most outstanding at that time was Hong in Thunder God. Even after entering the elite training, he still wasn't number one. And whether it was the elimination, universe country matches and the final pinnacle fights, Luo Feng was never number one. As he was never number one, failure to him was a chance to reflect on why he failed. It was a chance to learn and improve. One of them had always been number one, the universe genius competition's most outstanding genius while the other one had never been number one. Even Babata, who knew him well thought it would be hard for him to make it into the top 1000 of the universe. Now, he was neck and neck. Blood River Continent, the most mysterious and vast region, the ancient god ruins. Huge pit quarters. This was a terrifyingly huge pit. If, just the outer layer had a diameter of close to 10,000 kilometers, what about the depths? He didn't even know. I'll take a good look at what's there. Luo Feng's thoughts moved and the normal black rock at the side of the cave immediately vanished into his internal world. This rock was actually the Masha clan transformed. The Masha clansmen could transform into anything. Its natural talent allowed his energy to morph into anything. Let's go down. 
Luo Feng jumped and followed the terrifying gravity down, descending further and further. These endless depths had a diameter that reached 10,000 kilometers, what about the depths then? It's already 5,000 kilometers. Who? Who? Ah, it's changed. The thickness of the aura has changed. Luo Feng was shocked as he descended. This is about 9,000 kilometers in depth. Kill. Kill kill. The endless killing intent rushed into his consciousness. That powerful rush was twice what it was before. Not just the killing willpower, even the strength of the thickness was about twice. Who? Luo Feng continued to descend. This huge pit, just how deep is it? Luo Feng continued to descend right into the depths. The thickness of the aura is slowly increasing. The more he descended, the more he felt the thickness increase. Right now the thickness of the aura has already reached about three times of my huge pit quarters. He had already descended close to 15,000 kilometers. Not right. Luo Feng's expression changed. Shua. His entire being in the endless depths suddenly stopped from his terrifying speed before. His expression was heavy. Frowning heavily, it's weaker, the thickness of the aura, is weaker. Hmm. The region with the strongest aura is actually the center of the pit, and not the bottom. Luo Feng was curious, following which he flew upwards to look for the region with the thickest aura. Right here. Luo Feng floated in mid-air, feeling the thickness of aura about. Any higher and the aura would decrease. Any lower and the thickness would diminish too. In front of Luo Feng, the red killing aura floated about. The depth that he was in was where the aura was thickest. However, the entire area was simply too vast, he was simply at the side of the mountain wall. I'm at the edge of the thickest area, what would the center of it be like? Luo Feng carefully headed towards the center of the endless amount of killing aura. He traveled at 100 kilometers per second and got closer towards the center. The thickness is rising, it's actually getting thicker here. 3.5 times, 4 times, 4.5 times, 5 times, 6 times. It's too strong. Luo Feng stopped at the seven times region. His face was slightly pale, squinting, his gaze like a blade, sweat beating from his forehead. This killing aura is simply, simply too, terrifying. The endless killing aura filled one's entire consciousness. Compared to Luo Feng's willpower however, this willpower was much weaker, however it was solid and trained. Even though these killing auras are scattered and not organized, with countless amounts gathered together, it's still very strong. I can take it, however I have to be extremely cautious with it. Luo Feng's expression was serious. During his stay at the huge pit quarters, he would receive killing aura invasions unexpectedly. However, the level of attack back then wasn't much, as he could completely focus on studying his origin laws. However now, at seven times the thickness, he had to focus strongly on defending against the invasion of the killing aura. I'll go to my maximum and see where I can reach. Luo Feng gradually continued to fly. He slowed down his speed, however the thickness rose even quicker. The closer he got to the center, the more shockingly it rose. Eight times. Hmm. Luo Feng suddenly stopped in mid-air. Hu hu hu. The aura before him was already as red as fresh blood. With what he could see with his naked eyes, the aura was like a whirlpool, swirling ahead. Whirlpool core. Luo Feng could see with a gaze 10 kilometers ahead. The aura within the whirlpool core was extremely thick and terrifying like a red sun. Simultaneously the whirlpool emitted an ancient energy, with a formless enticement that permeated his soul. Come on. Come on. Come here. 
that formless seduction entered Luo Feng's consciousness. Get out! Luo Feng's consciousness let out a roar that shook his entire mind. Immediately that enticement that invaded his mind was smashed, crumbling into dust. You actually dare to invade my mind. Luo Feng's gaze was piercing, staring at the whirlpool core. I cannot go closer. If I go any closer, I'm afraid that I won't be able to resist. Luo Feng's expression was serious. Even though he had detected the enticement in an instant, he had to admit that the allure of the whirlpool core was even more terrifying than the illusion of the fantasy ocean level 9. And that mad killing aura was close to his limit of bearing too. Seven times the thickness, he already felt a huge pressure. Eight times the aura, that was indeed close to his limit. In terms of willpower. Luo Feng's was a pure and genuine willpower, and the enemy was endless killing intent willpower. Now that it was close to his limit, Luo Feng could indeed push it, just a little deeper. However, he didn't dare take the risk. About 10 kilometers away from the whirlpool core, Luo Feng chose to retreat. From the looks of it, my willpower now still isn't strong enough. Luo Feng looked at the blood like whirlpool before him. If first and second brother were here, they should be able to go closer. Right. Whirlpool. The whirlpool core is the deepest. The further I go the thinner it gets, the outermost spiral arm of the whirlpool, has a depth of 9,000 kilometers. Luo Feng simulated the huge whirlpool in his mind. An aura of the whirlpool with a diameter of 1,000 kilometers, from which the 9,000 kilometers depth was the outermost region of the whirlpool. Hence that area was two times the huge pit quarters. Any further and the thickness would fall another time. This deep part has the thickest aura. So it's actually a whirlpool core. Who knows, what's within that red sun-like core? Luo Feng recalled the killing aura and formless enticement that invaded his mind. Feeling a tremble within, I cannot go deeper. At least not yet. So. Luo Feng flew to the mountain wall close by, sticking to it and falling 100 m downward straight to the bottom. I want to see just how deep this huge pit is and see what's at the bottom. Luo Feng continued to descend. 15,000 kilometers, 20,000 kilometers. The depth of the huge pit obviously exceeded its width, and there was hardly any difference of thickness in aura at the bottom from the huge pit quarters. Bottom of the huge pit. The killing aura floated about. There, one can see wild grass and plants growing about, and a blood-red palace was erected at the bottom. Leave it to me. A voice rumbled, swiftly reaching the bronze-armored warrior's ears. Second level of the palace. However, his hair was messy and his eyes were blood-red without any reason or intelligence in them. Ao, kill. He let out a low howl, like a wild beast. Go, go kill the person who disturbs the Aster's training. A voice resounded. So. The wild beast warrior became a beam of light and swiftly rushed out. Luo Feng gently landed, as his boots hit the bottom. Moss vegetation. Luo Feng looked at the ground. Surveying his surroundings, he found the bottom was dead silent. Occasionally he would see the random stones about, obviously these had fallen from the mountains above. Is there no life at this bottom? Luo Feng began to scout about with curiosity, of course he was still cautious. Looks like there's nothing special here. Just dead and empty. Luo Feng turned to leave. Suddenly, within his ears, he felt an energy swiftly approaching, instantly that energy became very clear. Hmm. He turned fiercely, staring into the distance. What a mad aura, he's not trying to hide it at all. I've felt him at least 1,000 kilometers away. From his energy, he shouldn't be too strong, cloud level 9. 
or domain level one or two. Luo Feng placed his hand on his scabbard on his back, simultaneously feeling the energy swiftly approaching. How, a silhouette swiftly appeared. A bent messy-haired wild beast like warrior appeared. His blood-red eyes filled with madness and killing intent, as he brandished two machetes in his hands. He's fallen. Luo Feng swiftly deduced. Under this killing aura environment he was invaded by the aura and finally lost to it, letting it take over his consciousness. He has gone completely mad, and his entire being only knows of killing. Kill, kill. The demon wild person roared out with madness, simultaneously rushing at Luo Feng. Since you've fallen, poor person, I'll do you a favor and send you off. Luo Feng swiftly brandished his blood shadow blade. Chang. Kill. That mad person immediately turned and waved his machete. Dang. It clashed with Luo Feng's blood shadow blade, causing Luo Feng to become a silver light and disappearing into the red killing aura. What a keen and nibble fellow, and his blade work had the feeling of the ground origin laws. The moment I get close, he can easily defend. This mad demon, before he fell, he should have been quite powerful. After slightly retreating, Luo Feng became an image and vanished. That wild demon however roared and madly rushed over again. Kill. Kill. An incredibly beautiful flash of a blade. So beautiful it made one's heart tremble. Even the space around at this time seemed to stop. This flash was silver in color, and when the flash finally ended, in that instant it even had hints of gold. Chi. The flash sliced right through the demon's neck, and the sharp flash extended to pierce into his body, immediately right into his life core, causing it to explode. Kill, kill, kill the demon person's head fell on the floor. His mouth was slightly moving, still mindlessly muttering the words kill, even as his neck spurting out blood and crumbled on the floor. Shua! Luo Feng gathered himself and stood there. With a solemn expression, he looked at the corpse on the floor.